All right, here we go, team. The video you've all been waiting for. My Dragonflight 10.0.5 add-ons in UI update. Got a lot of exciting videos planned for you guys. Tons of PvP, probably a macros video, some updated guides and whatnot. But I already know this is the video that you guys want the most, so... Let's just go ahead and get into it. So, my, uh, my UI and my add-ons are... Something I've been working on for a while, and something that I will continue to work on. So, things may look different at some point than this video. But I think that um, people have voiced a lot of interest in uh, getting an update for Dragonflight. So, we're going to do that. Um, one of the really cool things about the sort of default Blizz UI is I believe that if you guys really like this particular setup, which really isn't that hard to uh, set up, um, I can send it to you via like their little import code. And there's a couple different add-ons that I can do that with, um, but I don't know if I can do it with all of my add-ons. So I know that I can give you the threat plates, which would be great. Um, I know I can send it over uh, like the actual base UI, so that'd be cool too. But I'll try to walk you through um, some of the settings that I use for my other stuff. Because um, I know like mixed rolling battle text, for example, it's kind of fun to be able to have like a little pop-up for interrupts or reflects. Or, of course, like, uh, the get shit on, if you guys decide to do that. <laughs> um, you got options, you got options. But anyway, first things first, uh, I can show you, like, the general layout of my edit mode. Um, now, I do plan on ultra-wide monitor, so some of the things might not look right, is my concern, if you guys import this. Hopefully it's fine. I have, just for the stream purposes, I have my UI kind of cut off here, so that it looks nice for the stream. But, um... I can send this along to you. You can play with it as you want. Uh, I like to have my action bars down here. I like to have my targets kind of in the more like in the center of the screen. I like to have my unit frame here, my target unit frame here, and my like focus frame here. And then I use an add-on called Quartz for the bars and stuff. But before we get ahead of ourselves, I'm probably just gonna like go down my add-ons just one by one. And then I think we'll kind of focus on the sort of bigger add-ons over time too. So first things first, Ability Team Tracker. This is an add-on that shows you um, your team's cooldowns and you can customize it um, to show different at like different abilities and stuff like that people have in Arena. So like if you want to see where your Paladin, you know, whether they have bubble or not, Arena Team Tracker can keep an eye on that for you. You can keep an eye on their trinkets and you have like all these different spells that you can decide to track or not track um, in the actual add-on. So. The base, like, setup for this is probably fine. Uh, but this is the case for, like, every add-on. Is, like, go through it and experiment and, like, mess around with it a little bit to make it work the way that you want to. Because I am not, like, an add-ons whiz. I do play a lot of World of Warcraft. I do occasionally tinker around with my add-ons. But I'm not, like, some crazy genius that, like, knows the ins and outs of, like, how to write perfect weak auras or perfectly set up every add-on. I just kind of dink around with it a little bit. And so I definitely encourage you guys to do that. Um, this is a really cool add-on for Arena, like, when you're able to see your team's cooldowns, right? Ability Team Tracker. That's what that does. And maybe we'll even have, like, some Arena footage to overlay and uh, show that for you guys. Um, but let's keep going. Next add-on that I use, actually, is Auctionator. This is my add-on that I use to do all my auctioning stuff. Kind of pops up your auctions in a nice little window right here. Um, if I wanted to sell stuff, it makes it really easy. You kind of just go to the selling window, and you click that out. So I got, I got some uh, Rousing Ire to sell. I can see that this guy is trying to scam people by undercutting it by 10. So we're going to not do that. We're going to sell him for a little bit more. Boom. Sell. What else do I want to sell? Maybe some stuff like this. Just chuck that up there too. Boom. Sell some stuff. Uh, it's pretty nice. The, the buying and stuff is good too. I just think it's a really easy interface to just click stuff out of your bags and sell stuff. Easy peasy. That's my auctioning add-on. Let's see. What else we got here? We got a bank stack. I don't think this is important anymore. So I might actually just disable this. This was an add-on that I needed at one point to... Uh, sort my bags, but now that is one of the things that is in the sort of base Liz UI. You guys have clean up bags. You click that button right there and you're uh, you're good to go. So I don't really need that one anymore. We also have uh, Battleground enemies. So when I'm in a BG and you see all the frames on the right side of the screen showing uh, is that that has to be ambience. One second. <laughs> let me, let, I'm gonna try to find it. You think that's ambience or dialogue? I don't know. 
I don't know what that is, but it's loud. It, it, maybe it's dialogue, because it does sound kind of loud. This dragon's constantly roaring in Valdraken. Keep it down! I'm trying to record a video, you little rascals. Um, but yeah, Battleground Enemies, it'll show- it's like- it's basically like Gladius for BGs. It shows you, like, DRs, shows you HP, it'll show you who's carrying the flag, that kind of thing. Pretty helpful for Battlegrounds. We can do the same kind of thing, we'll have a little overlay for that. Um, should be great. Big debuffs. Now, this is an add-on that I think does require a little bit of tinkering. The thing about it is, uh, it only shows one debuff, or buff, and you can go in to the add-on, I type in slash big debuffs, but you can go to big debuffs and you can see like test mode, so right now it's showing this interrupt right here, on the nameplate, it, all, it can also change like on your unit frame too, right, and your raid frame, so you can show like buffs and debuffs and cooldowns popped or things that, you know, your healer gets kicked, it'll show them that they got kicked, so you can kind of help increase your awareness for arena. Once again, a lot of different things to tinker around with here. The only issue that I don't like is that it will only show one thing. So, for example, you can change the priority of offensive buffs are more important than defensive buffs. But that means that if a rogue were to pop Shadow Blades and Evasion, it would only show you Shadow Blades on the debuff side of thing right here. So then if you want to go disarm that rogue, you're thinking he has Shadow Blades popped, it'd be a good time to disarm. But he has... Um, Evasion up as well, so then he, he, you know, dodges or disarm. Kind of annoying. So, that is one weakness of this add-on, and it's something that I'm going to tinker around with threat plates to try to figure out if I can make threat plates show me multiple buffs on the target without showing me, like, every single annoying, like, like, wow, they have power and fortitude, or they have battle shout. Like, I don't care about the hour-long buffs, that kind of thing. I want to know, like, when they're popping cooldowns, so. This add-on is still helpful. I still recommend it. Um, I just don't like that it only shows you one thing. I feel like that's a weakness of the add-on and something that I'm gonna try to like figure out for myself and then I can share it with you guys. But what I'm showing right here are the priorities. You can kind of show which one is most important to you. So for me right, right now I have it showing offensive buffs is the most important, defensive buffs is the second most important, them being immune is also important. But it definitely only applies to like, you know, a couple different things. Um, and then it interrupts, like if you if you kick somebody. That's actually kind of a CC that you want to track, right? So like if you, if you pummel somebody, you don't need to storm bolt them until uh, your your kick lockout is over, right? That's not very important, so that's good to know. But you can also change whether it shows on uh, unit frames, uh, it, whether it shows on like crowd control is fine too. But I don't really need to see crowd control so much because the tidy plates very easily covers that for me. I do want to see it on raid frames though, because if I if my healer is in a kidney shot or a blind, I want to be able to see that in the frame to you know be aware of that if I need to play defensively or if I want to make sure I intervene before the the sap hits off the blind that kind of thing. That's good. Interesting, we can do this. Yeah, why not? Okay, uh, anyway. That's big debuffs, another excellent add-on. Uh, Blizz move is kind of a cool add-on. It allows me to um, move frames around that I wouldn't normally move. So, once again, like you can't usually move this frame, but I can move it and I can scale it. Uh, it's useful because if I were to open up my character frame, normally it would look like this. But because I'm, that's because I'm playing an ultra-wide monitor. So I can just drag this around and I can keep the frame wherever I want it. And uh, it's also neat if you can go into um, your add-ons, actually options I think is what it is. Options in Blizz Move. You can actually just uh, go ahead and um, tell Blizz Move to remember where you put the frame so it stays there every time because otherwise it'll it'll like move around, the frame will move around every time you uh, you know reload or whatever. I have details, details is my damage tracker down here. You can do a lot of cool stuff with details. So it'll, not, it'll track your DPS, which is great. It'll track your, like, uh, you know, your buff uptime and stuff to see whether that enchant that you spent uh, 150,000 gold on actually ever procs. <laughs> which it uh, currently is not while I'm DPSing this dummy down. So that's, uh, you know, potentially just money down the drain, but whatever. Um, but you can go in and click this, and you can look at your uh, spells and see how much... Your mortal strike crit for, execute hit for, that kind of thing. And then you can always check your auras and be like, hmm, that's 150 gold, 150k gold that I do not see on my uh, buff up timer. So that's kind of unfortunate, but uh, that's fine. Details uh, is the pretty standard, just, you know, DPS tracking add-on. You can do a lot of cool stuff with it, though. Uh, do recommend it. I don't play with every single thing about details tracked. Like, I don't need the cast history. I don't need the target call or whatever that is. 
don't need comparisons or any counter breakdowns. I don't need every single thing that everybody has pressed on there either. But the the, the line the timeline thing is kind of cool, so I'd leave that up there. Um, that might be the chart viewer as well. So diminish is a neat add-on. Diminish is uh, you can you use add-ons to track the DRs or the diminishing returns on um, on your opponents, but you don't really have one baseline for your own self. So it's actually kind of nice to know. Okay, so if I'm fighting a rogue, they probably are not going to be able to kill me as long as I'm DR'd for stuns. Or, you know, I'm pretty sure I just got sheep like eight times, uh, I, but I, I do need to know when I'm coming off sheep DR so that I can be ready to, you know, play around sheep in the future or whatever, right? So it's nice to know when, you, like, that you are on DR for certain things, right? So that's good. That's nice to have that available as Diminish is the name of that add-on. We've got Gladius. So Gladius is that nice add-on that you see on the side of the screen that is showing... I don't want to reset the module, but I do want to see it. Let me see. So it's a Gladius test. I do want to show you guys this. So this is showing like your opponents, what spec they are. It, it'll even show a cast bar for you. It'll show like almost like a big debuff style like buff on them. You know, if they've got ice block or whatever else. Um, it tracks their trinket, which is great, but the biggest thing is it tracks DR. So you're seeing like fear DR and sheep DR right there. That's really important to know so that you're not, um, you know, storm bolting a target that already has been stunned twice, or you're not fearing into a target that has already been feared, that kind of thing, right? Um, you can also track like the racial abilities and dispels. For warrior, tracking a dispel isn't that important. Maybe it used to be important when you could use like the... Uh, whatever, that Shackle Trinket or whatever, like the Maledic Trinket, you could get it a spell and then double Maledic somebody with your teammates. That's not really that important right now. But you can still track that sort of thing if you want to. I, th I would say Gladius is a fairly essential arena add-on, um, just because it helps you track the Rs and it helps keep you keep an eye on what's going on with your enemies, so. Definitely gonna want Gladius. The other essential arena add-on is uh, coming up, but uh, that one's called Omnibar. But let's, uh, let's just keep going down the line here. We probably get to Omnibar pretty quick. Handy Notes is a uh, add-on that shows little notes on your map for helpful little thingos. So like, you're like, where the heck is that uh, profession turn-in person? It's like, oh, it's right there. And you can edit like, you know, show, it'll like show you where like, I guess rares pop up. It'll show you uh, where little little treasures or secrets are on the map too, which is cool. Um, where to get mounts and stuff, so. It's kind of a nice little add-on to show you a little extra stuff, so it populates your map a little bit and lets you know what's going on. Mixed scrolling battle tech. So this is a this is a uh, an add-on that I get a lot of questions about. It's the thing that basically says like <laughs> that'll do the pop-up where it's like get shit on. Or for me right now, I actually have it saying get flexed on because I'm not don't need to always be in Fury Bajira mode. So that's why I have that there. I moved my cast bar for quartz, which we'll get to in a second. And I was wondering why I moved it there, and now I understand why because it's sometimes in the way of that. So I'll just, I'll just plop it there and that'll be fine. Or I could actually move this down and I can move this up, but we'll see. Maybe I'll do it the other way around. So I could do that. So this is one thing that's kind of neat. By the way, if you guys are wondering how to move um, your dragon bar, that, my friends, is called the encounter bar. So if you want to move your dragon flight little energy bars around, that's, that's the encounter bar. So anyway, we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves here. Um, just want to go kill something real quick, and maybe even catch a, a reflect. But that's uh, that's the add-on that does that. So, and I'll show you how to do that. So you, you're over here blasting proto dragonfly, get flexed on proto dragonfly. That little pop-up right there. So in order to do that, you go to MSBT. This is a pay attention here because this is one of those things that people do like to know about. Um, so first things first, you're gonna to want to con uh, configure some scroll areas, so you can make different scroll areas than the ones that they have. And so I have uh, Get Dunked On has its own one, and then Interrupts and Reflects has its own one. But it has these default ones, like the static, outgoing, notification, incoming. I have, like, I just left all those alone, and I added my own scroll areas. And then those events are under notification, first of all, which is Killing Blows for players and NPC Killing Blows. And I both have those set to uh, Get Flexed On, and I have them to be output into the Get Dunked On output scroll area. And always sticky just makes it look cool. It kind of like pops up like a crit. And then the interrupts and reflects are going to be an outgoing player action. You scroll down here to spell spell interrupts right here. It'll just say whatever was interrupted. 
and then this sort of like percent s means like the spell name and then skill interrupts or skill you know name maybe is what it is uh is reflect and then it says whatever skill is and i have those configured to output into the scroll area called interrupts and reflects that we made and there's that too we could actually always sticky that too if you wanted to if you're feeling crazy uh it doesn't seem to be necessary right now though but that's how that's how i have that i don't really use anything else with mixed scrolling battle text it would be really easy to do this with a weak aura i would imagine but um, I think that certain add-ons like mixed scrolling battle text sort of help you navigate uh, Making that kind of stuff more easily. So I've been using mixed scrolling battle text forever I know how to do it. So that's I just kind of left it there and that's fine But that's how you do it. You Configure a scroll area. You add a scroll area. Just make one put it where you want it to be You know actually make it so that whether you actually want it to scroll or not and then you control the uh, event Outgoing player is uh, interrupts and reflects, and the notification is killing blows, and you just kind of tell those where to be. And then you can also use all this other stuff too if you wanted to, right? If you want to track certain buffs or whatever, mixed scrolling combat text does that for you. But you do need to be able to like turn your own combat text back on, and you might need an add-on for that or a, a script for that. I used uh, an add-on called um, Advanced Interface Options, but I don't really use it anymore, so. Yeah, but it does restore access to removed interface options that were removed in Legion, so there's that. But that's mixed scrolling battle text, that's really all I use it for. My slot is kind of an interesting add-on that allows you to transfer a lot of things about your UI from one character to the, to the next. So I'll have like, Bajira Sarg, right, as like my profile, then I'll, and I'll like save that as my profile, and then I can log into my alt warrior Bajira's Sarg, and I can import his profile to the new character and then everything is kind of just like already set up you don't have to do that so there are certain things that do that like you can set up from one character to the next but this thing like it should import like all my macros and even like my keybind setups too is it it should do that whether it works or not is not fully uh i don't think it fully does everything but this is something that i've used just recently when i made an alt nice damage this is an add-on that people ask about a lot too uh so how do you make your damage font look like this and it's an add-on called nice damage so if you go to my stream and type in uh, exclamation mark nice damage. Um, Twitch.tv slash Majira is my stream, by the way. You guys are more than welcome to join. We stream like every day and usually every night, but I'm taking off the night stream right now to record this video. So make sure you guys give it a nice big thumbs up and show it some love. Let me also turn off Gladius Hide here. Let's on. Um, it's an old add on called nice damage. And how that works is like you have to basically uh, go back to the Stone Age and actually download the add on, extract it into your add-ons folder like the like the old days um and that, that's what makes your your damage text look kind of uh like this you know what i think that there is there are probably other add-ons that do something very similar like you could probably choose between a bunch of different fonts but nice damage is what i've always used and you know whenever i you know get a new pc from my lovely wonderful sponsor origin pc i just kind of like copy my add-ons folder over and it just works so uh, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, and it looks cool, so I, I keep using it. That's pretty much how that works. Uh, that's called Nice Damage, and once again, if you need the download link for it, you can uh, just go ahead and head over to my stream, twitch.tv slash Bajira, type exclamation mark Nice Damage, all one word in the chat, and you should get a link, and then you can uh, download it, extract it into your folder, and it should be good to go. Okay. Uh, Omnibar. So this is another essential arena add-on here. Let's do it. Slash Omnibar. Uh, test. So this this is going to be a little uh, this could be a little overwhelming because um, you're not usually going to be fighting this many people who have this many abilities. But um, this add-on is so helpful for arena in the fact that you can you know track like okay so kidney shot is available for this rogue in five seconds. So he if he starts acting a little sus, it would be a good time to blade storm. Maybe blade storm the kidney. Good time to throw down a banner if uh, it's got blind coming off cooldown. Or if you're like oh man so this uh. This warrior doesn't have parry for another, uh, you know, 45 seconds or whatever. This is a good time to try to take him out. Uh, that kind of thing. It's just really good to know when the enemy's abilities are, you know, used. You know, so like if you're blade storming, after, right after your war breaker, you hit a you hit the war breaker. You go for the avatar quick blade storm. Hit him with the oh baby, uh, blades on the disarm. You can see, you know, that disarm goes straight into your blade storm. You're like, oh, I got him, baby. Or the kidney goes straight into your blade storm. You're like, oh, I got him, baby. So that's pretty cool. Um, there is some room for configuration, depending on like where you want this to show on your screen, whether you want it to expand up or down or things like that. Um, you can also make like if, uh, for example, it doesn't have the cooldown of Die by the Sword correct, then you can uh, adjust that. So right now it says it's a minute 29. So I don't, 
I don't think that's quite right. So what you can do is you could go to custom spells, you say die by the sword, and you say, why is it showing 89 seconds when it's actually a full 90? Maybe that's what we want right there. 90 second cooldown on die by the sword there. So then you go back. Should be fine. It's still showing that because this thing's trolling me. But yeah, whatever. Why is it saying that? Oh, for oh, okay, I see. Because because we're looking at prot, which doesn't even have that sword. So we go to arms, and then it's enabled. Those who aren't even enabled. For fury, if it had, it'd be 89 seconds. But you know that's fine for now. So we go back. Die by the sword should show this, but it doesn't because this game is this thing is making me annoyed. But anyway, that's the idea. That's how it's supposed to work. It's kind of like not working. Oh, I see. Because I need to do this one. Like it's gonna be like, nope, you can't do that. And and I probably won't be able to type either. There. <laughs> that says it's 34 seconds. Some of these don't like it when you try to slide it into position. It, it, it's like, it has to be, um, yeah. Look at this. It, it, it like won't let you type it in. It has to be like typed in, it has to be like dragged into place. Let's see. Okay, you know what? At this point, I would rather it be 89 seconds. You know what? Fine. Honestly, fine. That way you're not going to be like, I couldn't believe you had parry. Okay, dude. You know what? Minute 29 seconds? That's what it is. Never mind. Um, that'll be fine. But regardless, that's the idea. It's tracking the cooldowns of your opponents. And when knowing, you know, when kidney's available, for some reason it's still a 20 second cooldown, so... <laughs> You gotta keep an eye on that, that's just a super helpful add-on. Get in there, play around with it. Uh, whether it decides to uh, be uh, obedient or not, you know, it is what it is. At least it'll show 90 for arms, perhaps. We can we can hope we can dream. Um, but that's that's a very excellent add-on, despite its uh, belligerence sometimes in terms of changing the actual cooldowns custom. Uh, Postal is my mailbox add-on. I don't even know if I need this anymore. But it is what I use to open up all my mail at once. I don't think I have any mail right now, because I actually did open my mail when I logged in to uh, make this video, but it uh, allows you to like, open all your mail at once, things like that, I don't know. I'm not sure what's actually default feature or not at this point, but that's uh, that's what I use for the mail. Uh, quartz are these nice big old cast bars that I use, so like I can have my, my normal frame, I put it here, the target frame, I put it here, and then the focus frame, I put it right there. Um, and you can go in there and edit that just doing slash quartz and toggling uh, the bar lock, World of Warcraft. What are you doing? What are you doing, WoW? Uh, so, toggling the bar lock, that's what allows you to kind of just move your bars around, drag them around. And then you can sort of click this button to adjust the, the width and the height and the scale and whatnot of your actual bars for the target. It does all this stuff too. It can track your uh, GCDs, it can track a bunch of different buffs, which I don't have right now. Uh, this actually could be a good way to track uh, all the buffs that I that I want to see on my enemies, perhaps. Like, uh, so this could be another option for that. But it has like swing timers and stuff like that. Once again, I don't use all of that, but uh, it is an add-on that allows you to do that kind of stuff, which is cool. And, and it's another option that I have to solve the big debuffs issue, so we'll keep that in mind. We'll lock my bars and then it'll go away. But yeah, that's that's quartz. That's what I use for my cast bars. Once again, that's kind of like a legacy add-on. I've just been using it for a while. I just kind of like it, so I keep using it. Um, let's see. Uh, Raider IO, I'm not using that right now because they kind of built it into the game. Save queue is an add-on that, that removes the ability to leave the queue, so it's like you would just only accept it. Um, sell junk is an add-on that I uh, use to sell the junk in my bags. It gives you like a button that's like sell junk. Like that bad boy sells all the junk. Pretty self-explanatory. Aptly named. <laughs> that's the good stuff. Uh, so I have two add-ons that do this. Smart tab target and... Uh, like re-tab binder. It makes it so you can tab target in, to normally tab target in PvE, but when you encounter uh, PvP like situations like BGs or Arena, it makes it so that your tab button just automatically tabs to, or goes into like tab to player only mode, which I think is really useful. I'm gonna skip threat plates just for one second because I wanna finish everything else because there's not really much to talk about as much. Um, we'll come back to that real quick. Trophy GCD is just this add-on that uh, shows my like moves. So you'll see like right here it shows like leap, if I rally it'll show a rally, if I blade storm it'll show blade storm. It's just something that I use for mostly for streaming, just so people can be like, hmm, what's his rotation? And then you can see the buttons I press, and that's uh, kind of neat, kind of helpful. 
and that's something that you guys can remember if you're ever wondering what I'm pressing. Adventure plan doesn't do anything anymore, so we're gonna disable that. Lust detector is in this is helpful for when I'm doing pug raids and people keep lusting at the wrong time. I'm like, Who are, who's doing that? We'll actually find out. Um, Reflex is a neat add-on that shows you your um, your like arena matches that you've been in and stuff. And BGs, you can kind of track your win loss and see what you fought, see what the MMR was of each team. It's it's pretty neat. Astral keys, I think, just automatically links your keys to people. If they type exclamation mark keys, which is cool. Deadly boss mods is what I use in PVE to just tell me what to do. <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of nice. It's like Gladiator Lossa for uh, for PVE. It's good, just like tells you to move out of fire. It's like, okay, this thing is doing a big attack. Press a defensive. Okay, cool, nice. So that's DBM. Helps a lot in PVE. Uh, I used to use Bagnon, but now uh, World of Warcraft does bags just already uh, on their own. So that leaves us with two things that are somewhat um, somewhat in depth. Um, the threat plates is actually really easy because I can just straight up give you my import link for that. The weak auras are different because I have to give you each individual weak aura. And we have a couple of them tracked and uh, uploaded on my uh, my stream. So like this one right here, this this uh, stats weak aura right here that shows you my stats in real time. You can just go to the stream and type exclamation mark stats WA. There are, we have alert things where like, like a siphon goes down or uh, somebody's using like uh, offensive cooldowns. You can type exclamation mark alerts WA and I'll try to keep those updated. I think pretty soon here I'm actually gonna have like a exclamation mark Mez WA because Mez is a fantastic uh, PvP player, tournament player, uh, BlizzCon champion. I think right was was Mez on their team when they won BlizzCon? I think so. Um, oh, people are saying hey, what's up? What's up, guys? Doing a video real quick. But yeah, hello. Say hey, just doing a vid real quick. But yeah, Mez puts together uh, a nice week or a pack. And you can either go check out his stream for that, but I, maybe I'll have to put one in my in my stream too, just so people know what's up. Um, so yeah, maybe we'll put ex exclamation mark Mez WA in the chat because there's lots of weak ores that can be helpful. But there's like really like little things. Like once again, I'm not a, a weak or a whiz, but uh, you can pretty easily make like simple pre-made auras from like templates, like the sweeping strikes and overpower. Me tracking those for myself, I just made like a really simple weak aura just to track that on my character so I can see when Sweeping Strikes is up, I can see when I have stacks of ore power, which really isn't that important, but it is nice to know when Sweeping Strikes is up, so to know if you can go for a nice unhinged blade storm, or if you wanna like not break CC, you can like very quickly like try to like cancel your uh, Sweeping Strikes right there so that you're not messing up your, your team. Speaking of which, I realize that, that is not actually on this guy's bar for some reason, which is not ideal. So macros and stuff, we're gonna we're gonna make a video about macros for you guys later. I don't know why I don't have my my sweeping strikes cancel macro went away for some reason. Sweeping strikes uh, cancel is really helpful if you're playing with like a mage. You don't want to be constantly breaking uh, the mage's CC. That would be helpful. And you just do that do that with a cancel or a sweeping strikes. But that's how that works. Anyway. Um, the weak ores, yeah, like, the other thing about weak ores is, is you can go to the weak ores website and you can just, like, look and search for weak ores, um, and just, you know, find things for different sort of arena cooldowns and different sort of, like, buff tracking. You can do, like, anything with weak ores. Lux, though, is also a buddy of mine. He makes some absolutely insane weak ore packs, um... And he's another guy to check out. But, the, like, once again, you can do anything with weak ores. You can, like, every, like every add-on in World of Warcraft is basically just, like, a weak ore, right? So you can do some insane stuff. But tracking um, enemy cooldowns when they pop up is uh, very helpful, right? So you can look into that, and we can try to give you some of these weak ores. See, like, see what I mean? Like, it's like this is, like, off my screen. There we go. Sorry. Um, but, yeah. We can provide these to you guys. I just can't really put them all in the video, I don't think, but maybe the description can just be packed with weak aura stuff. We'll see. But you can definitely swing by the stream and use the commands, and we can help you with that. Um, so that's one thing that we can help you with that is pretty intense. The other thing about threat plates, though, is I can really just go to my profile and export it for you. So if you like the way this looks, where I have the buffs, right, or like, sorry, the debuffs right above the target, and then I have the CCs like way above, a little bit bigger, so you can uh, see all the CCs and stuff. Then uh, 
we can send that to you. I, I'm going to be working on some experimental threat plate settings, though, to try to, like, help the big debuffs issue. So, stay tuned for that if you're interested. But this is this is what I have, basically, where my the target that I actually click on is, is quite a bit bigger than the targets that I'm not clicking on. But... If you're hitting much stuff, it'll just like stack up like that. But yeah, that's that's the basic idea right there. Um, and if you like that, then we'll just put put it in an export for you and check it out. But you can do a lot of cool stuff with, with threat plates. Like, you can get in there and mess around with like with totems. You can like mark certain totems as more important, which is kind of neat. Uh, I have the totems showing as like their little icons. But like for example, like if I want to make tremor, like hey, like tremor, you need to watch out for that. You need to watch out. You need, like all these totems that like are totems I'm going to want to kill, like healing tide and stuff. Like you can make those with like a little special marker on there. Um, let's try to make it just a little bit easier to see. Uh, I don't actually want to make my totem health bars like insane, but if you could, if you want to make them like 200 size, so it makes it even easier to click on them, you could. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know about that. But you can you can do some wild stuff, which is pretty funny. Um, but it's good to have the totems marked. That's how, that's what one way. Um, another thing that people really like is uh, like having my allies in, with with their their little names like this. So what that is in threat plates is using headline view for like friendly players, and then you can go around and mess with what headline view looks like. Right? You can you can go to like the um, like friendly targets and mess around with that kind of stuff and and fix them up the way you want. I've done it once again. I've done this maybe like like one time, and I just kind of like the way it looks, so I, I messed with it. But yeah, that's what you need to do is headline mode, and then you got to figure out where you can edit headline mode stuff, right? So that's basically where that is. See, I'm actually gonna have to look around for it and see if I can find like where to make. Oh, here we go. Probably like mess around with enemy players, like names and stuff in here, or sorry, friendly players' names and stuff in here. It's like, I have their names blown up to like 150%, um, and then I have like my target scaled to 35%, and anything I'm not targeting is actually downscaled. And then if I have no target, everything is just kind of like the same, so that's how that works. So those are a couple things you can do with uh, with tidy plates people tend to enjoy. I, I like I like seeing my, my, uh, my teammates' names with their class color and more than just a mark. It's kind of like the same purpose, but that's just what I prefer. So... Not too, not too crazy, not too painful, right? We went through a lot of our stuff. Um, the things that I can export for you, I know are gonna be my like normal Blizz UI, and I know that we can export you my threat plates. I don't know if I can like export like Omnibar, for example. It looks like I can actually, but I, I swear my Omnibar is nothing fancy, and I probably could, ju you probably could just find like a better Omnibar, but maybe I could export it for you. I don't think I've done anything real crazy though. Um, but maybe we could. I'm trying to see what else I can export for you. I don't think I can. I don't know if I can export mixed going battle text. I don't. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. But hopefully, me showing you how to do it helped. Um, let's see. Can can you export this? Profiles. This default. It doesn't look like I can uh, export that one. But once again, this these are the kind of things that you're gonna get in and mess with a little bit. It's gonna take a teeny bit of time, but it'll be worth it. Let's see, can I export this? I don't think I can export my big debuffs profile either, so maybe I can export Omnibar. Somebody was asking me about that earlier, and I was like, I don't know, can I export that for you? But maybe I can. We'll figure that out. That'll be that'll be all part of the part of the fun, part of the video. But that takes you through my add-ons right now. I, I do like add-ons in World of Warcraft. I think they're pretty fun to mess around with, and I kinda will tinker with them every now and then to, to get a setup that I like. Um, but if you like that setup, then by all means, import. The set of stuff that I can give to you to import, hopefully it works fine. And uh, if anything else interests you about my add-ons that I can't just uh, export for you, hopefully you can grab those add-ons. Hopefully they're fairly straightforward and then you, you can tinker around with them with, with, uh, with them as you see fit. But yeah, there's a lot of things that I actually don't even use anymore because it's base Blizz UI, like Bartender and like Easy Frames. I, I like the frames that, that we have default now. I like the the bar layout that we have now just fine so that's what I'm using and if anything changes maybe we'll make some more add-ons videos for you guys but hopefully some of the big questions have been answered with like mixed going battle text omnibar gladius um, obviously threat plates that kind of stuff hopefully that all get you guys squared away 
with a UI that you enjoy. But once again, this is just my setup. I definitely encourage you guys to check out some of the add-ons that look fun to you. Use or don't use whatever you prefer. You can try out some of my exported profiles to get you started and then tinker away with it uh, as you see fit. But uh, hopefully you guys are all enjoying Dragonflight. I'm having a blast gaming on it, streaming with it, making videos about it. And uh, if you guys are interested in continuing to see what I'm up to, make sure you guys follow the, the stream on Twitch. Make sure you guys subscribe on YouTube and enable notifications on those platforms. And definitely don't hesitate to check out our TikTok. We're having a lot of fun on TikTok as well over at uh, Bajira Official. So we're going to keep pumping out the content. You guys keep showing it love. We'll keep having a good time together. All right. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up and a nice little comment if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.